So um, hi everyone and welcome. My name is Katie and I work for the Sacramento Public Library. I want to thank you for joining us for our fourth installment of the six week body positive yoga program. We are so excited to offer this and to have a local yoga instructor, Kirsten Johnson with us today. And we'll get to her in just a moment. Um, so first I just want to mention a couple of things. Today's session will be recorded and it will be uploaded to our YouTube page where you can watch it later or share with a friend. And then make sure to stick around at the end uh, for a book talk on a title from our collection that is related to this week's theme. Um, and with that, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to our instructor, Kirsten. Go ahead and take it away. All right. Well, welcome, welcome, everyone. Um, once again, I want to thank SAC Library for um, having me here and offering this virtual yoga. Um, I'm very excited. Um, this series has been about um, yoga, uh, living yoga off the mat. So diving into a couple of other um, deeper layers of yoga because there's um, eight limbs of yoga. So we're studying the yamas right now. And this week we're on Asteya. Um, so Asteya, this is going to be short. I'm not going to sit here and talk forever. But um, just to give a little background, Asteya, which is the third limb of the yamas, is... Um, translated as non-stealing or non-hoarding. And so when we think about that as it applies, um, and we'll, we'll investigate how that shows up. Everyone's gonna have their own experience of how that shows up on their mat. And then when we think about how that applies to you know, like just life outside of yoga, like the non-hoarding, remember the toilet paper hoarding fiasco earlier this year, how everybody was just like taking things that they don't need. So, or storing up things that they really didn't need, more than enough. So how we'll investigate how that is, shows up is maybe on your mat, just taking care of yourself. And so I'll offer a lot of props, a lot of um, options. I'm using a chair today because that's what my body needs. And I really hope that my invitation is really take care of yourself um, by not maybe comparing yourself to your former self or maybe not stealing the joy of this moment by just giving yourself permission to really get into your practice. And so with that, we will get started. Find a comfortable seat. I will invite you to find a feeling rather than find a pose. So find a comfortable seat. For me, that means seated up on blocks. So maybe that works for you. And this is how we'll get started with our practice today is just feeling what a comfortable seat feels like and then maybe rocking into that i'm using like i said blocks and a blanket to find this length of my spine and then i'm going to find and connect with your breath that's going to be the inhale and the exhale and then now we're starting to do that whole yoga that connection of just being in this moment. So find how you settle into your practice right now. And then as you're settling into this moment, being present with your breath, notice what that feels like as you inhale, lengthen all up to the spine. And then you exhale, soften your shoulders, maybe your jaw. Keep breathing and making this connection, this union. And this breath is what's going to keep us present. So we don't steal from moments from your practice or go into the future, go into the past. The breath is going to keep us present. So just feel what that presence feels like. And if it's okay for you, close down your eyes and just spend the next five rounds of breath just being present, scanning the body, just scanning and knowing, knowing how it feels right here at this moment. If you'd like to invite a mantra or an affirmation or just, I am going to be present at this moment, but in a breath in and a breath out. 
when you're ready, you can keep your eyes closed. We'll start to make some slow movements into the neck and to the spine. Remember, this is gonna be your permission to feel and do what feels right for you. So uh, your invitation is to maybe keep the legs where they are. Maybe you can change the orientation. We'll be here just for a little bit longer. Finding once again, that long spine, length and inhale. Exhale, bring your chin down to your chest and start to just make some circles. Ear over the shoulder, back to center, ear over the shoulder. Remember, we're moving and just paying attention to all the snap, crackle, pops in the neck, being gentle, moving with your breath. Okay, when you get back to your left side, go ahead and leave the ear over to the left shoulder, maybe bring us some softness down to your shoulders as you lengthen the spine for you. The left hand can come up and around and just let it land on top of the right ear. So you're not gonna pull it or anything. Just let it land right there. And take the other hand, the right hand, and you can either walk the fingertips out or you can press through the palm, maybe feeling sensation and length into the forearm and then all the way through that side, breathe. Exhale, when you're ready, come back through center. Everything comes back down. And then move that tick-tock motion from side to side. It's like a little half smile. Now, what would happen if you bring that half smile to your face as it softens and you lean your head over to the right? Lengthen through the spine and land right there. Inhale, hand comes up and around, elbow reaches out away. There you go. As you can feel this length into this side, your left side, take that hand. Your option to tip the fingers or press through the palm. And then I'm coming back out. One more breath here. Everything comes back down to center. Take your hands, interlace the fingers. Thumbs are down. Let your head cradle onto your hands and then gently start to lift the head, opening up through the elbows. Maybe you have a slight back bend here. Keep on breathing. Exhale out. One more breath here, opening up. Oh, exhale out. Okay, go ahead and release the hands, bring them up and around. We'll start with a little bend. So left hand comes down, right hand stays up, and then start to bend over to the left. Back to center, over to the right. Then you start to create this movement for yourself, your breath. Each breath in, remember keeping both sit bones rounded or grounded. One more time on each side. And so these are bends, noticing how the spine is moving, how your spine is reacting to this. Okay, this time the hands come up. Now we'll do some twists. And I need breathe in, lengthen. Right hand comes down to the left knee, left hand comes back, and then as you breathe in, lengthen through the spine and then rotate to the collar. So through this middle spine, you're feeling this twist. Maybe another breath here, relax the shoulders, twist a little more. Back to center, both hands come up and then we'll do that on the opposite side. Left hand comes down, right hand comes back. Inhale, lengthen and now spiral out through the side. Breathe here and exhale. One more time, back to center. And then you do this motion maybe side to side. Just feeling into how this twist feels for you. One more time on each side. There you go. And back to center. All right, see all that twist hands come to your heart and breathe it. Next, the invitation is to come on over to your hands and knees. And if the knees are not, you know, feeling it today, you can bring a um, pillow or comforter or something, a towel underneath the knees, to a little bit of um, cushion. Or the option is you can do this seated. And so this is going to be an invitation to move into cat and cow. So inhale, drop the belly. The heart lifts up, exhale, you round. Breathing in and breathing out. And then if you wanted to do this in a seat or in a chair, just come on up here. 
Breathe in, inhale, exhale, you round. So these are your options. Like I said, you take from this moment, what do you need? All right, when you're ready, we'll come on back to a child's pose. So if you're in a seat, you can just go ahead and just fold over your knees, breathe in. If you're on the mat, so go ahead and bring, come on to child's pose. Arms can walk forward, drop your head, and just breathe. Take a full breath in through the nose, a breath out of the nose, so feel that. Keep breathing. And child's pose is one of the poses that you can come to when you just want to connect with your breath or anytime. You don't need my permission. But you don't need my permission to do any of this. This is all option, op, an, um, option for you. When you're ready, come on back up. So, and if you're in a seat, just come on back up to a seat. We'll start to move with some little bit of core movement before we move on. So on your next breath in, inhale, lift your right leg, lift long. If you're seated, you're gonna bring your right knee in. So move from your center. And then from here, the invitation is to find your balance from your core, from your center, and extend the opposite hand. Keep lifting through that heel or lifting up that knee. Whatever option you're choosing, breathe here. And then exhale it all back to center. Let's move that one more time on the other, this, on the same side. Exhale, breathe it all out long. Hold it. Feel this as your, your, your abs engage. You're feeling this in your center. Breathe here. Exhale here. Out and in throughout the nose and then come all back down. One more time. Let's do this on the opposite side. So left leg lifts up. Lift up through that thigh, through that heel of your knee. You're bringing that in as the spine grows long. Once you find this, your balance, extend the opposite hand. Breathe. And exhale. Keep lifting. From the center, notice one hip wants to come up or one hip wants to lift off the chair. Breathe. Breathe it all back down. Feeling that in your center? I am. We're going to use all that to stay present in the moment. Let's do that one more time. Left side, left side lifts up, left knee lifts up. Keep breathing. Mm. And let it go. Breathe one more time here. And let it go. Woo. Everything comes back down. And then from here, you either tuck your toes and lift up and back down dog. So here's option for down dog. Down dog on the mat. Maybe you're pressing through your hands. Tailbone is lifted up. I'm gonna use a chair. So I'll be using the chair for the rest of the practice. Same variation, but just using a chair because it's a little bit more gentle on my hands. And so that's not stealing the joy from the moment and just being present to using what's available to you. Breathe here. Remember, it's not what it looks like and what it feels like. So what do you need? Here's an option for down dog in a chair. You can find movement or stillness when you're ready. We're gonna inhale, look all the way up to the side, all, all the way up to the top, and then forward fold. Bend the knees, come onto your forward fold. Elbows can cross. Maybe the knees stay a little bit bent as you start to slowly straighten up the thighs. Breathe. Exhale it all out. Okay, we're gonna come up to a stand. So rooting down through your feet. And before we get up there um, to a stand, maybe look down at your feet. My toes always wanna go a different way. So this is a good opportunity to root down through their heel, root down to the ball, lift up the toes and feel how that feels. Soft toes, just rooting down. And then slowly set the toes down. So we're gonna use this groundedness, this really, really rooting down through that whole surface of the foot of the both feet to come on up. Bend the knees, inhale, come on up to the top. Hands and come out wide. Find mountain pose. Those feet are in the same direction. Maybe we'll work to just noticing if we can come back and land at this spot all the time. Mountain pose, inhale, 
and breathe out. Let's do a little bit more side bends before we move on. Breathing in, left hand wraps around the right wrist, and then come on over to the left. Come on back up, over to the right. Back to center. Then you do this side to side. A couple more times, there you go. From here, we're gonna reach up, inhale, look up, and then exhale, we'll fold back to our gown, on our forward fold. Here, we're gonna do a half lift, and then back, we're gonna step all the way back to a down dog. Down dog, go ahead and shake out your dog right here. We'll do this a few more times just like this. Breathe in, look up to the top. Come on up, back to your fold. Half lift when you're ready. Back to a fold. Come on, reach all the way to the top. And then hands to your heart. So just little subtle movements just to see how that shows up for you. Breathe in, come on over to the right. Coming on back to center, over to the left. Come on back to center, inhale, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Half lift here on the breath in, and then step back to down dog on the breath out. Take a breath here, inhale, watch your shoulders if they want to creep up around your ears and maybe press down through the hands, bend the knees and then lengthen through the tailbone. Notice how that feels for you if there's any difference. Chest is coming toward the thighs and breathing here. So we'll spend a moment just noticing what this feels like. And then on your next breath, come on up to the top. Half lift when you're ready. Back to a fold. And then coming on up. Okay, so we'll add in a little bit of movement, a little bit more motions of twisting, turning, and seeing how that shows up. Breathing in, come on up, bending over to the left, over to the right, back to center, over to the left, back to center. As you inhale, breathe in, exhale back to your fold. Up here, left here, and then step it on back to your down dog. Okay, here's where we get a chance to play. Breathe in this is your down dog. Let your left leg stay down, bend the right knee, and let it come all the way long. Maybe you bend that knee and make a little bit of a hip circles playing in right here. Hmm. Okay, let the right leg come all the way back long. And then we're gonna step it all the way through. Inhale, breathing it in, stepping it all the way through to a lunge. So you can have the lunge here lifted. You can be on your knee. Or I'm gonna do this on the chair. My chair's not gonna move. There's a lunge right here with my knee on the chair. So find whatever lunge option feels to you. And this gives you maybe a little bit of stretch and a little bit more access to your hamstring. Plus it takes your hands off of the ground. And it's a great thing to do if you're sitting all day at the doing meetings and you just wanna stretch out through your back. This really is a helpful for back. So find your lunge wherever you are. And then we'll come into a lunge twist. So if your hands are on the ground, bring your left hand down, right hand's gonna come on over to the right knee, or the right hand's gonna come up to the ceiling. Breathe here. Keep leaning in. Okay, one more breath here. And then Back through center. Let's do that on the opposite side. Bring your right hand to the inside of your right leg um, foot, and the knee and elbow are going to come together. And I'll maybe do this one on the ground. Or if you lifted it, it would come here. And you're going to press down and open up to the left. Breathe here. And then back through center. And then we'll do that just on each side, just, just having that motion of seeing what that feels like. So when you're ready, and this, you can breathe out, we're gonna inhale, rotate over to the right, back to center, rotate over to the left. Find your balance, find your twist. Keep breathing. One more time on each side. 
and then back through the center. Go ahead, come back, return back to your three-legged down dog, and then wiggle, shake all that out. Maybe two hips from side to side, and then back to stillness. Okay, let's find and let's see how that shows up. Remember, we're not stealing from the left side. We're just going to be present and do and take what we need. So breathe here. Left leg lifts up. Maybe you bend that knee, create a little bit of hip circles. Oh. And then when you're ready, start to set up your low lunge, high lunge, what lunge you need on the left side. So left side, I'll stay up using the chair for support. Bend into your left knee. If you're lifted, come high on the ball of your left foot so the heels active. Okay, let's try that little gentle twist option over to each side. Right hand stays down, left hand comes up. Breathe here. Left hand comes down, right hand comes up. Back through center. Keep rooted down to both feet. Come on, let's do this. Breathing and twisting. Just a little bit of flow. One more on each side. Oh, and then back to your three-legged down dog. Let's go ahead, wiggle all of that out, breathe it in, and I'm telling it all out. When you're ready, go ahead, inhale, look up to the top. Maybe you walk all the way up to the top to a forward fold. Half lifting. When you're ready, on a bending in your back and then back to your fold. Just come on all the way up to the top. Inhale. And then hands to your heart. Exit. All right, I'm getting a little bit of warm. At any time, you can grab some water. Remember, this is your practice, so please take care of yourself and find whatever option of those twists appear um, resonating with you. Whatever side, you can switch it up. Remember, this is your practice. We're going to play with that a little bit more coming into a little bit more warrior series. So let's do this on your next breath. Notice how you're feeling. Come on, breathe in, lift it up. Taking that twist or that bend over to the left. Back to center, over to the right. Back to center, inhale as you look up. Exhale, forward fold. Breathe in on the half lift, and then step back to a down dog on the breath out. Okay, so here's where we're adding in. Inhale, let the right leg reach on back. And then we're gonna slowly step it and all the way through. Find your version of a lunge. Breathe in, let the left hand come down, right hand lifts up. Okay, here's where we're gonna do a little change. Stop right here, breathe in, pressing down as if someone's lifting up your right hand. Come on, open up to an open arm twist. Breathe, one breath here, back to the center. Coming on back down to your lunge. This time, right hand lifts up. I mean, left hand lifts up. We're gonna breathe here, lean in here. Here's where our change is. Press down through your right foot. I mean, on up, set that back leg down. You're in warrior two. On your right side. So find your way, breathe it into your warrior two. And I'll switch sides because I don't want my back to you. <laughs> and stay right here. One more breath here and your warrior two. Let's flip that. Reverse the warrior. Right hand comes up, left hand comes down. Lean into that. Inhale, coming back through center. And then we'll go ahead and just come on back through our lunge. Inhale, and then back to your down dog. Three, breathe through that, exhale. Okay, let's do this on the opposite side. Left leg lifts up. And then step it on through. Come to your low lunge on the left side. Now I'll come back here. 
Right hand stays down, left hand lifts up. Root down to that left foot, and then come on up to an open arm twist, left side. There you go. One more breath here. Back to your lunge. And then now we're coming on back down through to a little open arm twist over to the right. Press down as you lift up, rise up, warrior two. This could be your warrior two on the chair. Breathe in right here. Find your warrior two. And stay. There you go. Let's reverse this warrior one more time. Breathe in. And be back to your warrior two. Back through that series. Inhale as you look up. And then return back to a down dog. Exhale. Oh. One more breath here. Inhale. Look all the way up to the top. Forward fold. Lengthen. Find the breath in. And then fold back on the breath out. One more time. Coming on up. And then hands to your heart. So notice what's present for you here. We'll stay here in a down in, in mountain pose. Noticing your breath. Knows you which side is active, whether you're stealing from this moment by comparing, by not being right here, saying, I am doing I am what I am able right now. So feel how this is going to bring maybe a little bit of presence by just coming into your breath. We'll start that all on again on this each round, each side. And this time maybe just keeping up with your breath and noticing what you feel. So when you come back up to center, inhale, reach, exhale, coming on over to the side. Coming on up, inhale, breathe up, over to the other side. Next breath in, lengthen, come back over down to your full. Back lift when you're ready. Step it on back. And we'll just try this with one breath, one movement. Breathe in, left, right leg lifts, and then exhale. You find whatever lunge you can. On your next breath in, left the hand, right hand rises, and then coming up to your twist. We'll stay here for a breath in and a breath out. There you go. Keep your flow. Yes, do this slow. Subtle movements will help you stay in your um, stand. Breathe in, breath, left hand lifts up, and then you plant that warrior two. Let's reverse this warrior one time. Breathe in, back to your warrior two. Inhale as you come back to your lunge, and then you turn to a down dog. We'll stay in down dog, just one breath, just one breath as we just resettle. And then we come back into what this and the left side has to be. X, breathe in as your left leg lifts. And then stepping it on through. Set up this low lunge. Left hand lifts up. Breathe. And then open arm twist. Yes, you got this. Back to your center here. And then back down to your lunge. Let's come on over to the right. Yes, we feel better. And now we got warrior two. Reverse this one more time. Back to warrior. Coming on back to your lunge. And then stepping it on back to down dog. That's one breath here. And a breath up. Let's come on back up to the top. All the way to a forward fold. Have the when you're ready. And then back to a fold. One more breath here. Coming on up. And then hands to your heart. Okay. One more thing to add on at the end. Let's see you. Let's do this. Breathe in as you reach. Come on over to the sides, bending over. And then back to center. Back over to the other side. Back to your center. Breathe in. Reach up. Look up and lengthen. And then down, come to your fold. Back lift when you're ready. Step back to your down dog. Okay. There we go. Right leg lifts up. And then stepping it all the way through. Inhale. We're going to have the right hand lift up. Press down. Open up. Twist. Stay here for a breath here. And then come on back to center. Let the 
Right hand stay down. Left hand comes up. And then open up to your warrior two. Let's reverse this warrior here. And then back to your warrior two. From here, we're gonna come back to our, um, what is that here, low lunge. <laughs> Low lunge with the left hand um, lifted up. And so low lunge, left hand lifted up. And then just play with a little bit more balance. So if you're low lunge held, let me see my back is toward you. Low lunge, the left hand is lifted. So we're still playing here with a little bit of balance one more time. Inhale, when you're ready, keep that left knee bent, or the, I'm sorry, your right leg is bent. And start to lift up, start to just start to shift your weight over to that right foot. And then eventually walking that hand just a little bit farther away. You start to lift up that left leg, keep that heel flexed. Rotating out and open. Breathe here, coming into a half moon shape. One more breath here. Exhale gently, bend through that knee, set it and all back down. Coming back through your center. Coming back through a down, three-legged down dog. Notice how that feels. Let's come on over to the left. All right, left leg lifts up. And then you step it on through. Right, left hand reaches up. Open arm twist. Back through center and then coming back to your lunge. So here's where we're just practicing for that next one. Right hand lifts up, up to your warrior. Breathe in, reversing that, and then coming back to your warrior two. So coming back to this shape right here, walk the brush, left hand a little bit forward and bend into that right knee, shift you through that weight. Maybe you take a flight on here, and then finally, when you're ready, and can be also on the chair for this, lifting up, rotating, opening up the hip. And that top hand is lifted. Keep breathing and letting it go. One more breath here, closing all that back down. Step that back foot back, down dog. And take a breath in. And a breath out. One more breath. Come on up to the top and forward fold. Half lift when you're ready. And then back to your fold. Breathe in, reach up. And then hands to your heart. Let's play with all of that together. Remember, you can, this is your dance. So if there's some steps that you want to leave out, go ahead. This is what are you being present with, what joy can you experience in this flow with your breath? Let's do this. Breathe in, inhale, reach up. Exhale, coming on over to the sides. Bending over to the other side. Back up to your length and in, and then back to your fold. Ab lift, come on up, and then step back, down dog on the breath out. Breathing in, right leg lifts. Step it on through. We're gonna twist over to the right. Root down, come on up. Open arm twist. Back through center, then back to your lunge. Let's do this. Let's do it over to the left, and then open arm, warrior two. Reverse your warrior right here, and then back to your warrior two. Coming on back down, let that hand come a little bit further out from the body, Lifting up that back foot, playing around with your balance, opening up that hip, flex through the toes, balancing half moon. We'll stay here for five breaths, knowing that you can come out and come back to this present moment at any time. Breathe. Last time on this side, so just be in this moment. 
when you're ready, slowly coming it all back down. Yes, we are. Let's go on. Go just immediately, just go on to the second side. This time, left leg lifts, and you step it on through. Twisting over to the left. Come on up, open arm twist. Back to center, and then come on back down. This time, now we're twisting over to the right, opening up. Warrior two. Reverse that warrior right here and come on back down. Taking this block, hand moving it a little bit further away from your body. Playing with your balance. Come on, last time on the left side. What do you have right here? Don't steal from this moment. Another few more rounds of breath. Keep rooting and rising and breathing some joy right here. Half moon. One more breath here, slowly coming and all back down. Find your down dog. Yes, yes, yes. Move from side to side. Just find some joy and what it means to just to feel and know that you did what you had to do and it was enough. You weren't stealing from any other moment, but that moment was enough. Breathe. And then we're gonna look up to the top, come on all the way up to the top, forward fold. And then find your way coming all the way down to your mat. Oh. Noticing how you feel. And then coming all the way down to your back. I didn't want to leave without giving you a little bit more joy of working with your center, your core. Oh, this beautiful place that we can find, that we can just be in the moment. So when you're ready, just move some movement. Maybe feeling out what you need right here. Mm, and then oh, coming back to center. I'm going to have my knees bent. And I like to actually put my hands underneath the outer hips. So maybe that works for you. Come and bring the spine long. We're just going to work with a little bit of core, a little bit of joy of laughing and being. So actually, before we do that, have your hands come to the outer edges of your belly, almost near your rib, and almost that you can feel that. So take a breath in, fill up your hands, and just with your center, with your core, with your abs, breathe all that back in on the exhale. Ooh, feeling all that? So we're just moving to this a little bit more. You probably breathe in, fill up your hands, and then just with your outer, with those side rib, those side abs, bring it all back in. One more time like that. So this is what we'll be playing with. All right, so if you like to change the hands back into framing underneath the hips, the butt right there. All right, so we'll breathe here. And then on your next breath in, just bring the legs up to an angle. Knees are bent, they're gonna stay bent. Feet are flat. We're gonna inhale long. And then with those belly, that side ribs, we're gonna exhale, bring it all back in. Feeling that? Let's do that. Right leg is long. Left leg stays bent. Exhale it all back in. One more time here on the right side. Then switch sides. Left leg goes long. And that left foot does not touch the earth and bring it in. If you want to bring a little bit more, you can go ahead and lift up through the shoulder blades a little bit more. Reaching up through the hands. Keep breathing. Oh, I forgot. Oof, don't hold your breath. One more time here. And then bring it all back down. Windshield wiper from side to side. Okay, that's first round. Round two, stay with that or we're gonna just bring a little bit more movement into that with a little twist. Okay, so coming on back up to center. Head comes lifted. 
And then we're gonna bring our elbows out to the side. So we're gonna bring an inhale, let the right leg goes long. And then the exhale, we're gonna come up and twist over knee to elbow. Breathe in. And exhale, whoo, all this to the side right there. One more time. Knee to elbow or knee towards elbow on the right. Oops, I did an extra one. I hope you didn't. Okay, let's do this on the left. Left of guys' leg goes long. And twisting, feeling through those soul side ribs. One more breath here. And then coming on, all back down. Windshield wiper from side to side. Oh, okay. Well, that's, I think that's enough of, 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 of joy right there. Let's, <laughs> let's start to settle into a little bit more um, ease as we head into our final shape. So bring your knees in the center. Mm. Maybe give your ankles and toes a little bit of love. Giving them a little bit of stretch point, what you need right there. And then when you're ready, let the knees drop over to one side. You choose which side you want it to come. So I'm going to bring my knees over to the left, twisting. Shoulders can relax and stay onto your mat. My left hand is on my knees, since my knees are over to the left. My right hand is extended out to the right. Are you fine with every twist feels right for your body right here? And then when you're ready, gently coming on back up to center. And then both knees go over to the opposite side, setting up the twist. And remember, coming in line with that non-stealing, it doesn't have to feel the same. Coming and using that principle of ahimsa, self-love and truth, just knowing what holds true for you on this side. Finally, coming back to center, moving from side to side, and then taking whatever last minute stretch, remember, it doesn't, whatever last minute movement that feels right for you, and then setting up your final shape of rest or shavasana, where the legs come out long or the knees stay bent, the back of the body is just right here. And remember, even though there's no goal, end goal in yoga, but the, maybe allowing yourself just to be in this moment by just breathing, something the body can naturally do all on its own, just breathe. Give yourself permission to make any changes, adjustments, modifications to this. And then just return to your breath. In the book, Yamas and Niyamas, there's a quote. Why steal from your life by stealing your will? Instead, be still and love God.
before you move, before you make any movement, just maybe taking up some space onto your mat, just breathing in, maybe bringing the arms out wide, legs out to the outer edges, taking a full breath in, full breath out. And then enjoying that moment again of breath and being present what it feels like to fill up your space, breathe here. The principle of esteo, non-stealing, non-hoarding. How does it show up for you? This is all ways for you to discover of ways of being present, being enough filling up your space and knowing that that is all of you, not stealing or comparing yourself to anyone else because you are enough right here. When you're ready, bring all of this in, inhale it all in as you're gathering all of your joy. And then on the exhale, give yourself a hug, a squeeze, some love, support, anything that you need. Bring all of it in. And then start to make your movements as you start to awaken, to come into more awareness of this present moment. And then finally coming up and to a seat. Hmm. And I'll end the practice, offering this practice, this time together, this community, not just for ourselves, but for what we do on the mat, not stealing and not hoarding, will show up off of the mat. And in the spirit of Mbutu, which is I am because we are, we can all do this together. Thank you for your practice. Thank you for your time not stealing away and just being present here. Um, remember, you can do all of this, maybe five minutes a day, maybe 20 minutes a day. There was something in there that you know that you would help you like during your work day, that maybe I can get up and do that little one stretch on my chair or one stretch and you know, side to side, any of that. It doesn't have to be a half an hour class. It could just be five minutes of just not stealing time and energy away from yourself and giving, really giving this moment to yourself. Um, with that, I'm gonna turn it back over to Katie. Remember the library is open to drop off your ballots. So please, please remember if you can and are eligible, please vote. And um, my name is Kirsten and you can follow me on Instagram on at, um, In Her Voices. And I look forward to the next two practices because they're gonna be a really chill, low kind of relaxing, kind of easing in into like um, fall, winter kind of um, mood. So I'll see you next week. <laughs> Thank you so much uh, for that flow. I was like, I was very excited about all the half lifts and the twists. Um, and in order to give back to myself, I will be doing that between episodes of like my latest TV binge. Uh, <laughs> so it'll be a nice way to, again, take that moment and be with myself and not just, you know, blow through five hours of a TV show in one sitting, <laughs> which I have been known to do in the past. So, <laughs> yeah, so thanks everyone for joining us today for yoga. Um, like I said, my name's Katie. I'm a librarian and your suggested read for this week is the Five Love Languages Singles Edition by Gary Chapman. So readers might be familiar with Chapman's original work, which was titled The Five Love Languages, The Secret to Love That Lasts, but he has written multiple editions that focus on subsets of the population. I chose this specific edition because in the description of the Esteya Yama from yogainternational.com, it explains that, quote, we are most likely to associate stealing with tangible objects, but intangibles such as information and emotional favors are more likely to be the objects stolen in our world, end quote. For your reference, the five love languages are acts of service, gifts, physical touch, quality time, and words of affirmation. This edition provides examples for how to use these in all situations, so with family, with friends, with coworkers, and not just uh, and not just in romantic situations. 
my takeaway from this book was the importance of knowing the love language of the others in your life in order to improve the effectiveness of your relationships. You do not have to share a love language with them, but being able to express their love language to them will make all the difference. And each chapter ends with five questions to prompt self-reflection, which I found to be very helpful. So this title is available as an ebook from our library collection. And even though our libraries are closed, our virtual doors are always open. For more information about our health literacy initiatives and ballot drop-off locations, just go to www.saclibrary.org. Make sure to like our Facebook page and to share with your friends. Uh, for Sacramento Public Library, happy reading, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Mm -hmm.